Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 16 and compare it against the iPhone 12 Pro and see which particular iPhone is a better one for you. Now, within these particular versions of you know software, now within these two devices, the biggest thing to keep in mind is that you genuinely can't go wrong with getting an iPhone 16. This really is one of the best iPhones you can basically buy. It looks great, it feels great, and if you're going to go through and pick up a phone, this is a very, very good option. So if you want to pick up the iPhone 16 or some other phones, I would recommend buying this year for the cheapest prices I find. Links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can also support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these phones, the iPhone 12 Pro, which came out back in 2020, on the front side of this particular phone is giving you a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. And with this type of phone, I mean genuinely, it still looks like a pretty good performing phone. The best thing going on for this type of device is the fact that Apple gave it a you know flat sides and the display of it is the same size as the iPhone 16. So you don't even really feel like it's really doing that bad of a job. Like I still feel like in this day and age, this is a really decent looking phone. <laughs> It's not a perfect looking phone. There's definitely some issues going on with it, but it's a good looking phone nonetheless. And I do think it's, you know, definitely has its pros more so than cons. Now with the iPhone 16, it's the same exact size display. So it's 6.1 inches here too. So it's a pretty basic type of panel as you'd probably expect. So it's the same size, super and extra OLED display. The issue with the iPhone 16 that the 12 Pro has as well, that is that it's a 60 hertz panel. Now, the reason why that's an issue on something like the iPhone 16 is because that is a 2024 phone. There is no excuse why something like the iPhone 16 has that type of panel. The iPhone 12 Pro having a, that type of panel back in 2020 makes a little sense, but for a phone nowadays, it genuinely doesn't make any sense at all. So the iPhone 16, in my personal opinion, is kind of weird just for having that type of panel like that. Now, another big thing going on here too is the fact that both phones have flat sides. So this is something that's genuinely super cool going on for that type of phone. The fact that you can get a flat side on the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 12 Pro both feel very, very premium. The iPhone 16 has the action button on one side and it also has a camera button on the other side. So that is something that's actually very cool going on for the iPhone you know, 16. The iPhone 12 Pro doesn't really have either one of those things. On the bottom, the iPhone 12 Pro has a lightning port, which is cool. You know, I love having lightning, but the iPhone 16 is actually giving you that, you know, USB type C port, which is something that is so cool to have. So that type of device for giving you that type of, you know, USB type C port is genuinely so amazing. And I'm such a massive fan for basically having that type of capability right there. So I think that in and of itself is another very cool thing going on for that type of phone as well. On the backside, you're getting frosted glass bags on both of these phones, which again is always super nice to have. Like I said, if I'm going to go through and pick up a phone, I love basically having USB type C. It's genuinely very awesome. And that could be and even these frosted glass backs with that USB-C is really cool on the iPhone 16. Dual camera setup on the back of the iPhone 16. Triple camera setup on the back of the iPhone 12 Pro with a LiDAR sensor there. So you're both getting MagSafe capability on the back of both these phones, which again is always very nice to have. You're basically also getting a lot of good stuff, you know, built throughout IP certification on both as well. And both these phones feel and look very good, right? There's not really like a lot of things to kind of complain about here between both these devices because they both feel and look very, very good when it comes down to it. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. But another very big thing to keep in mind here too is the fact that between both these phones, the iPhone 12 Pro was a thousand dollar phone. This phone doesn't necessarily cost that much anymore. So if you're going to go through and pick up a phone, like a phone like the iPhone 12 Pro doesn't cost that much, with the iPhone 16, because it's a brand new device, it's going to cost significantly more. So that is just like one of those other things to kind of keep in mind there. Now, on top of those things, from the camera side of things, the iPhone 12 Pro, like I said before, is giving you that triple camera setup. So it's a wide ultra-wide telephoto lens on that type of device. And that's a pretty good type of sensor to have inside of a device like that. With the iPhone 16, you're getting a dual camera setup. So a wide ultra-wide telephoto lens inside of that particular phone. Now, some big things to keep in mind here. Number one, with something like the iPhone 16, this camera is going to be significantly better. Although you're getting 4K at 60 on the fronts and the backside of both these phones, I definitely will tell you getting a phone like the iPhone 16 is going to be better. Even with that dedicated camera button, it's going to be genuinely cool. But the interesting thing going on here is that with something like the iPhone 12 Pro, although this one has a dedicated telephoto lens, both these phones pretty much zoom in the exact same way. So there really isn't even that big of a difference from the zooming in capability between both these devices. So I do think from that side, that is kind of like an interesting thing 
kind of going on you know, with these devices from that particular perspective. So if you're trying to get the better performing camera, it's definitely going to be something like the iPhone 12. It's definitely going to be something like the iPhone 16. That is going to be the better one in almost every single way you can probably imagine. So from that side as well, that kind of covers it up there from the camera side of things. Now from the software longevity, like I mentioned, both phones are going to be supported with software still right now. So they're both going to be getting iOS 18, which as always is a really nice thing to have. I love being able to go through, pick up a phone and basically getting a phone that's still going to be supported with software. So we don't know how long the iPhone 12 Pro is going to last. Probably going to say like it's going to be like another like two years, maybe, maybe like a little bit more. But if you're going to want the longer lasting phone, it quite clearly is going to be the iPhone 16. That phone is probably going to be one of the most, you know, long, it's going to be the longest lasting iPhone as of this point. So if you're wanting the longer lasting phone, it has to be something like the iPhone 16. That's kind of just how these things go. But the iPhone 12 Pro is still supported with software, so keep that in mind. But if you're going to want the longer lasting phone, it's going to be the iPhone you know, 16. From the battery life perspective as well, from Apple's own website, Apple basically claims that the iPhone 12 Pro is going to be giving you 17 hours of video playback where something like the iPhone 16 is going to be giving you 22 hours of video playback. So just from that side, if you're going to want the phone that's the longer lasting phone here, as always, it's probably going to be something like an iPhone 16 from a battery life perspective. So this is something that's kind of obvious as well. Like if you're wanting the phone, it's going to be something like the iPhone 16. So from that side, kind of keep that in mind as well. On top of that, another very big thing is from the performance side. So with the iPhone 16, you're going to be getting the Apple A14 body chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. With the iPhone 16, you're getting the Apple A18 chipset inside of it with eight gigabytes of RAM. So from that side as well, like if you're going to want the longer lasting phone, as always, it's going to be something like the iPhone you know, 16. That's going to be the faster phone in almost every single way. And that is something that's really nice. Right? If you're going to get a phone and if you want the longer lasting phone here, it's probably going to be the iPhone 16 from a performance perspective. That phone can genuinely handle every single little thing you throw at it. And that's something I love about those types of devices because they hold up so well, they perform so well, and that's a really nice thing going on for that type of phone. So I will tell you, the iPhone 12 Pro from a performance perspective is still actually pretty decent. Like it's not like a terrible performing device. And if you're going to be getting a phone, like you're definitely still going to be getting a pretty solid phone from that side as well. And that is something that I actually like a lot. Being able to go through and phone that's significantly older on the iPhone 12 Pro, but still getting a phone that's going to be handling a lot of things that you throw at it. I think that's a very, very respectable thing going on for that type of device as well. So overall, what I'll tell you is, is that with a phone like the iPhone 16, this is a better phone in basically every single way you can imagine. If you're wanting the phone that's going to be lasting a longer period of time, that's going to be faster, it's going to be better, keep better cameras, better performance, better everything. It genuinely is going to be the iPhone 16. There's not even close. But I think the iPhone 12 Pro still does like a pretty decent job at a lot of things that you kind of get from it. And I do think that in and of itself is a really nice thing going on for that type of phone as well. So I will say from, you know, kind of all things considered, the iPhone 16 is still a very good phone, but the iPhone 12 Pro is by far the better phone in almost every single way you can kind of imagine. So the iPhone 16 is a better phone in pretty much every single way, but the iPhone 12 Pro is still okay for a lot of people out there. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.